Let's say that we have the radical equation, the square root of 3x minus 7 plus the square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. I encourage you to pause the video and see if you could solve for x before we work through it together. All right, so one thing we could do is we could try to isolate each of the radicals on either side of the equation. So let's subtract two, let's just subtract this one from both sides so I can get it onto the right hand side, so, or a version of it on the right hand side. So I'm subtracting it from the left hand side and from the right, and from the right hand side. And so this is going to get us, that is going to get us. On the left hand side, I just have square root, these cancel out, so I'm just left with the square root of 3x minus 7 is going to be equal to this, the negative of the square root of 2x minus 1. So now we can square both sides. And we always have to be careful when we're doing that because whether we're squaring the positive or the negative square root here, we're going to get the same value. So the solution we might get might be the version when, we, when we're solving for the positive square root, not when we take the negative of it. So we have to test our solutions at the end to make sure that they're actually valid for our original equation. But if you square both sides, on the left-hand side, we are going to get 3x minus 7. And on the right-hand side, a negative square is just a positive, and the square root of 2x minus 1 squared is going to be 2x minus 1. And I'll see, we could subtract 2x from both sides to get all of our x's on one side. So I'm trying to get rid of this. And we can add 7 to both sides, because I'm trying to get rid of the negative 7. So add 7 to both sides. And we are going to get, we are going to get 3x minus 2x is x is equal to negative 1 plus 7. x is equal to 6. Now let's verify that this actually works. So if we look at our original equation, it's the square root of 3 times 6 minus 7, minus 7, needs to plus, plus the square root of 2 times 6 minus 1 needs to be equal to 0. So does this actually work out? 3 times 6 minus 7, so this is going to be the square root of 11 plus the square root of 11 needs to be equal to 0, which clearly is not going to be equal to 0. This is two square roots of 11, which does not equal 0. So this does not work. And you might say, wait, how did this happen? I, I did all of this nice, neat algebra. I didn't make any mistakes. But I got something that doesn't work. Well, this right here is an extraneous solution. Why is it an extraneous solution? Because it's actually the solution to the equation. It's a solution to the equation the square root of 3x minus 7 minus the square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And you might say, well, if it's the solution to that, if it's the solution to this thing right over here, how did I get the answer when I'm trying to do algebraic steps there? Well, the key is if when we added, when we took this onto the right-hand side and squared it, well, it all boiled down to this, regardless of what starting point you started with. If you did the exact same thing, you would have gotten to that same, this point right over here. So the solution to this ended up being the solution to this starting point versus the one that we originally started with. So this one, interestingly, has no solutions. And it would actually be fun to think about why it has no solutions. We've, we've shown, to a certain degree, the only solution you got by taking reasonable algebraic steps is an extraneous one. It's a solution to a different equation that, gets, that has a common intermediate step. But it's also fun to think about why, why this right over here is impossible.